Fam review. Hey guys, Worldeter here. Today we're going to be going over the Valentine's Day event familiar, Wood to Roth. Now, first off, this familiar can only be accessed during the Valentine's Day 2024 event. So jumping right into it, we're going to check out the event so I can show you how much it costs. You click on that Valentine's Day logo on the bottom where Sardinix's face is at. You scroll to the bottom and you'll see here Wood to Roth pack. I already purchased it and it says owned, but it should be 700 golden skulls. So make sure you snag this if interested in crafting this familiar before the event is over. Currently, I only have 10 days and 21 hours left to get the Captain Astabeard pack. I will also be going over Captain Astabeard, but I'm going to wait a little while since Bitverse Andy is going to be going over Captain Astabeard on their channel. So make sure you stay tuned to their videos as well to make sure you get all the information you need for Captain Astabeard. I also do know that Neflarian, another amazing content creator, also has videos on both Wutaroth and Captain Astabeard. So I definitely recommend you guys check out his perspective as well on those familiars. Let's go ahead and check out the familiars now by going to the familiars tab, hitting fusion, and we'll type in wood just to make it a little faster to get to them. There you go. So starting off on the right, you can see here that it shows 1k gold, extremely easy to get, very nice, and one Captain Woodbeard. You can either click on them and the map on the top left to see where they're from, or if you want, just go to raid, and they'll be the third raid. One, two, three. Woodbeard's booty. They are going to be the legendary boss familiar at the end of the dungeon that you can either persuade or bribe. Honestly, only needing one for this fusion is very, very nice. There are some fusions that you need three to five legendary fusions for one craft. It's insane. So this is pretty nice for such a decent familiar. Let's go ahead and go back into the fusion. Check out the schematic itself. And you'll see here that they have a lot a lot, a lot, a lot of agility, which is nice. Honestly, 62,000 for my TS is a pretty decent amount, especially for a familiar that's so basic to make. Um, following after that, their stamina is kind of high, which a lot of people don't like, but the point of this familiar is to be a healer support. They're not here to um, min-max damage. They're here to keep your team alive. And honestly, their power isn't too low anyways. I would have felt a little better if this familiar was around 28,000 health for my total stats, but I can't complain. This is still a very, very solid familiar. Now, if you look at the top and the left, there's no bonuses or anything of that nature, but all of their awesome bonuses are actually in their bottom text, surprisingly. Um, you do see here 5% healing bonus and 10% chance at the start of the turn to give one SP to the team, not just to him or an individual um, teammate, to the team. So since they have a lot of agility, that's amazing. You can be giving SP like crazy. And another reason you would want this familiar is in the skills. I'll definitely show you those after I go over the augments here. So what I selected, personally, I really do like Empower. You cannot go wrong with Empower. Empower is good on literally almost every single familiar in the game. You can literally use Empower on anything. Other things I would try using would be probably some Dual Strike. You can also use Damage if that's honestly all you have. You can use some Speed Pumps. Speed Pumps would be very nice to help capitalize on that bonus they have with the 10% chance at the start of the turn to give one SP to the team. That's also a very nice pick. Or you can also do something a little niche if you'd like. Um, you can consider going tank with this familiar. And the only reason I'm saying that is because their stamina is extremely, extremely high. And I'm going to show you a few things here real quick when we get to skills. For the chip, if you are going to be going the support healer route, you would obviously just use heal power. You could also replace it with the generate shields when you heal chip. But personally, I think heal power is the most viable chip in the game for any kind of healer, period. So this is, in my opinion, best in slot. Um, you can feel free to give me your opinion about that in the comments below. But this to me would be the best in slot chip unless you're going with Taroth tank. Now for Wood Taroth tank, you would definitely need something like with Team Alive, damage reduction, wind shielded, damage reduction, anything with damage reduction. 
And that also goes for the pumps below. If you are going tank, they would have to be damage reduction. I don't believe anything else would work. I think it would have to be damage reduction. And for the brain, I highly recommend a per turn brain that's offensive. And that's only because um, if you do anything defensive, you're just really going to be healing the whole time. They actually don't have any damage dealing skills. They're only able to heal buff and shield and stuff of that nature. So a per turn offensive brain would be very lovely on this familiar. If you are going tank, you can use a when you get hit brain. And for a when you get hit brain, you can use either defensive or offensive. Whatever you're really needing to fill at that moment is what you would want to use. So going to the skeletal lining here, I like using something like while at full health, SP regeneration is increased. Um, just to have all the SP you can possibly have for your skills. You could use anything here really. Um, if you're going tank, you can use redirect. You can use damage reduction on your first hit or evade on your first hit. Whatever you can use uh, that's tanky for the tanky version of Wood Taroth. Um, you could use any anything here really except damage on first hit or something like that. I don't believe it'll affect their skills. Um, but speaking of that, let's go ahead and jump into these skills now. Skills here are going to be Be Calmed, which is heal weakest teammate which is pretty nice. Um, it's really nice to heal the weakest teammate. I can see having a team of these all as tank. Um, you can just constantly heal the weakest tank and rotate them around endlessly. They have plenty of speed to just keep healing, 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 staying alive, staying alive. So um, be calm, in my opinion, is a very nice zero SP. You have a one SP called slack in the line, which is give fury the teammates and spread heal. Very, very solid one SP. Um, you're giving fury to not one to all of your teammates that's something that people just aren't noticing for some reason um, a lot of people are just so crazy about captain astabeard but they're not looking at how amazing these skills are um, this is a very very nice viable familiar that i believe can be used in d4s and any kind of hard content just because they can't attack anybody to proc their brains um, and this ability is really good paired with a familiar like Lurky, Volfi, Zulum, anything of that nature. Um, the new Gobby fam that came out, that new offensive Gobby fam in the new raid. If you give them all Fury, they're going to be hitting like a truck. So this is a really great one SP ability that not many people are talking about right now. Not to mention you spread heal them. It's, it's, it's really solid. Um, going on to the third attack, which is Land Ho. It's a 1 SP, cleanse and give 1 SP to target. So you can use it on yourself. You can use it on um, any any member of your team, really. So it's really nice to have a cleanse and SP to target. Um, you can always cleanse yourself and get that SP back that you spent using it. It's another fantastic ability in this familiar that people still are not talking about. Now, here's where it kind of gets a little unfortunate because he goes from 0 SP, 1 SP, 1 SP to a 3 SP and a 4 SP. Now their 3 SP is Parley, or Parlay, sorry. Heals target teammate, and that to me is just, um, that should be a 2 SP. It's uh, a little costly, but it doesn't matter. You already have a spread heal and fury teammates, and it heals weakest, so you're still healing the most important parts of your team with 0 to 1 SP. It's not crazy it won't make this familiar not viable at all but here's where it gets to the sadder part the spread shield teammates and spread heal teammates is a 4 sp very costly however the amounts that you're healing and shielding are very very high since you're doing both it's pretty good i just don't think you should use this skill unless you have the sp and you really need those heals um, it's very rare where you're going to be in this scenario to use this. So I don't see this ability being used quite often, if not at all. Same thing with the heals target teammate. It really just depends if that one teammate needs that much health on that turn. But their first three abilities, which in my opinion is where you need to focus the most on most familiars, especially if you're going to be going a tanky route, um, are the most viable. Now, a lot of people frown upon... Um, using healers or DPSs as tanks, but their kit is really nice and you can use honestly almost anything you want as a tank. I know some people that used Wacom and or Wologder as a bait sandwich 
just because they were able to sustain and the damage reduction was enough to not die on one hit. So um, you can really use it for just about anything. Wataroth is great as a healer support or a tank support. Definitely the one thing I would say you would have to do is in the augments, if you're going the support route, you would definitely want a offensive per turn brain. But that's going to be it on Wood Taroth. I truly think they are an amazing familiar that is completely slept on or at least overshadowed by Captain Astabeard right now. They are definitely going to be D4 viable and I'm not the only person saying that. Don't want to list any names, but there are quite a few people telling me that this familiar has some potential. So if you are looking for a new member to add to your team, a new familiar to shine, or try out in the next D4. I truly believe that Wutroth is possibly the next familiar to add to your list. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for a build on Wutroth, please leave them in the comments below. If you guys have built them yourself, um, tell me that as well. I would love to know who else has tried this familiar. If you guys are wondering which one you should pick between the two, ask me and I'll go ahead and tell you in the comments. I can't give you a sure answer, only because it really depends on what you're lacking in your team currently and what you're trying to achieve on your team or on your familiars list. Not a lot of people like collecting all the familiars. They try to just get as few as possible and just move along with what they need. So just definitely tell me your scenario and I'll definitely answer you in the comments. But thank you so much for being here. Um, I truly appreciate it. And yeah, I'll catch you next time. Thank you so much. Have a great one, guys. Peace.